What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to jump into some cinematic night street photography and how I edit my photos and how I come up with that cinematic film look. Um, so anyways, let's jump into it. This is a shot with Kim McMullen and it's one of my favorite shots from this evening. We just went out to the streets of downtown LA and just had a blast running around the streets and uh, shooting and kind of got all dressed up and had some fun. The first thing that I'm gonna do to try and get that film look is we're gonna go for that more like teal, cyan, um, nighttime. We're gonna lift the blacks, almost what you would see like in a feature film. So open this up. We are first going to just drop the exposure just a tiny little bit. I'm also going to drop the contrast. We're gonna drop the highlights. I'm going to boost up the shadows. You can almost see what this is starting to do to the image already. Let's see, I'm gonna bump the whites up a little bit and I'm also gonna bump the blacks up a little bit. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of leave it like that. We might jump back up here like in the end once we just are doing some, fin some finessing, some final tweaks, but we're gonna jump down to the curve editor so in the curve editor, I'm going to just put a couple pins in here to mark the different like highlights, shadows, and midpoints. And I'm gonna try and pull this down a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump up our black so we get that kind of like faded look. Uh, but in doing this, we wanna still keep a little bit of contrast in our image. I'm gonna bring my mids over a little bit. I'm gonna bring my highs over a little bit. I'm gonna drop the overall white point down a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the different color channels. And I think what I'm gonna do is I want this to live more in a little bit of a cyan um, world, less red, less warm. So let's try and just bring this down a little bit, maybe somewhere in there. Put a pin in this over here so our blacks don't go too far into the cyan levels. Um, I think we're gonna leave this as is. And then I think one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump a, a little bit more of some blues into my black tones or into my black values. So we're gonna put a pin here as well. What this does is it doesn't allow the blues to go into our mids or our highlights, but you can see if I crank on this, it only puts it into the shadows. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit and I'm gonna bump some more blues into our shadows. I'm also gonna cool down the image overall, something like this. We'll go back to the overall curve editor. I think I'm gonna just boost it a little bit. A little more exposure, a little less contrast. Bump the shadows a little bit more. And I think we're gonna leave it as that. I'm gonna pull down the saturation just a touch, pull down the vibrance just a touch. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the color mixers. Um, I wanna pull some warmth out of this shot. So I'm gonna go into the yellows, I'll pull the saturation down a little bit. And I think I'm going to do this. I'm gonna go into my blues, bump the saturation, go more into the teals. Same thing here, bump the saturation, pull this out of the magentas. Don't really want any magenta or purples in the shot, so I'm gonna pull that all out. Um, I think one other thing I was gonna do is I am gonna put a little bit of warmth into my highlights. So pull this up, pull this. Down. So you can see what this is doing. You can see the highlights up there in the lights and stuff. It's just affecting those. So I'm gonna do that and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of red in them as well. I think something like around there. So let's see where we started and where we are. That's where we started, that's where we're going. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head down to the color grade menu. Um, instead of editing like this, I like to do each one individually. So shadows, midtones, highlights. It's kind of similar to what we had up above, but we're just going to affect um, just these areas so I'm gonna pull my shadows down into this cooler area. I also think I'm gonna bump the luminance up a little bit. I'm gonna pull my midtones. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it somewhere there and I'm gonna take my highlights and I'm actually gonna warm them up. And let's see what the blending options do. Balance. I think something somewhere around in there. Uh, another thing that we're going to do in this one is we're going to add a little bit of a vignette to it just to really s focus in on our subject. We're going to add some grain to give it that more film look. Uh, we're going to bump the clarity down and we're going to also dehaze just to give it that nice, like soft, beautiful, grainy look. Um, one thing that you'll notice in Lightroom is it always sharpens your images. So unless you want this desired effect, I would always say kill that. And I think that's kind of about where I want this image to go. So let's do some final tweaks. Let's head back up. I'm actually gonna expose up a little bit, drop the contrast a little bit. I'm gonna go back into the curves, pull 
pull this down. And then I think what we're going to do for just a couple final steps is we're just going to try and focus in on our subject and we're going to try and just pull out her, her face a little bit. So I'm going to go into the mask here. I'm going to do a radial gradient and do a nice soft mask we want to target in on. We'll do that. Hit a little bit of exposure just to get her a little bit of pop. Drop the contrast a little bit. Drop the highlights. Maybe bump the shadows. And then I think another thing that we're going to do is we'll add another mask. Um, we'll do a linear gradient this time. We'll pull up from the bottom and we will expose down. And I think contrast up a little bit and drop the highlights, uh, something like that. And I think one, we're going to do one more and we're actually going to pull down from the top this time and do the opposite effect. So let's bump a little extra exposure in there just to really get her to pop off the page and separate her off the background. Um, so I think if you see that, that would be a before and that would be an after. So I actually love the way that it was shot as is, but I think if you want to really go for that nighttime cinematic look, you just have to tweak the colors, tweak the black values a little bit, decrease the contrast, and just give it that nice soft film look. And that's some cinematic night photography editing in Lightroom. If you'd like to see more of my work, click on the video over my shoulder, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.